2010, July 22nd, 2.20 p.m. Upon further inspection of our retort experiment, I pulled off the end where the gases were coming out of the pipe. And I've pulled out this little piece of uh, wood, one of the wood pellets I had. You can see how badly crusted over it is with tar residue. This was at the end of the tube where all the gases were escaping. And over here, you can see some pretty heavy deposits of tar. This is after just about one hour of running. In fact, the tube looks almost clogged. I, I can't even see light through the tube looking from the other end. Uh, so it looks like we were beginning to plug up this section pretty badly with tars. If we were to build up our own retort system, this would definitely be a problem. I see where those tars are so thick, they begin to plug up the pipework. And remember, this is only about an hour's worth of runtime. So building a retort system to capture all the tars and all the gases may be problematic in that regard. We'd have to look at some way to, uh, to do things differently. Now in a typical gasifier, those tars and pyrolysis oils are drawn through a hotbed of coals where they get further reduced into uh, lighter gases. And I'm not doing that here. I'm capturing all the tars directly. So this could be an engineering problem, a substantial one, to make a working retort that's going to keep on uh, working for hours and hours on end without too much maintenance or cleaning. In fact, this may have been one reason why I was getting a slightly decreased output of gas from my retort, just due to the clogging. So anyway, uh, there's definitely some need for some more experiments here, and we'll do some more investigation. But again, my goal here is to try to just experiment with wood pyrolysis, see how difficult or easy it might be, what some of the technical challenges of doing it are, and if it's possible, possible to build a small uh, micro-scale unit that would pyrolyze wood uh, for the analysis of the liquid and gaseous compounds. That's my ultimate interest here, teaching instrumentation, as I want to have a process that makes interesting chemical compounds for us to analyze.